Hey guys, I'm Joseph Earnshaw, you can call me Joe. I'm the medical researcher at the Men's Health Clinic and have been for the past year and a month. So I'm here to give you an introduction about me. The first point to explore is why I'm interested in TRT. I met Dr. Stephen some time ago and I started working shortly after. And my interest in TRT predates my academic experience and I frankly was always interested in ergogenics. Not for any performance inspiration, but simply because I found it interesting as a former wannabe powerlifter and an aspiring scientist at the ripe age of 15. So don't worry, I still lift weights and I think I'm doing okay in that department. Maybe, maybe not. But I've always been passionate about trying to help other people anyway. And I initially wanted to do medicine from a very young age. But coming towards the end of secondary school, I decided that Science was for me because I believe that I could end up in research and help many thousands more people versus one patient at a time. No offense, Dr. Stevens. But I studied human biology because of that at Loughborough University. Um, and that was at the QS number one ranked school, the SHES. Um, so I think the audience here knows of my work and they will appreciate that Dr. Stevens wanted me to work for and with him because of my academic skill sets my natural interest around the topic of TRT. So to expand on my academic experience, I worked as a research assistant in the domain of molecular biology and analytical chemistry, in addition to some medical and clinical science for more than over a year. Now this required me doing a lot of study design, literature review, lab work, statistical analyses, the whole works. Um, I then secured a small grant to do some co-research alongside the principal investigator for a project in epigenetics. Um, it was really great, actually. I learned a lot and I did some pretty cool research. I was really well equipped with an in-depth knowledge from this within human biology and statistics. And I already had that thanks to my degree in various short work placements and work shadowing with lead medical endocrinologists, genomic counsellors and genomic um, bioinformaticians at the NHS, plus a load of books, like a lot of books. Um, but just before I decided that I would move straight into mainstream clinical research, or I was really hoping to do graduate entry medicine, my eye got caught by bioinformatics, uh, which is just basically the combination of my nerdy love for computers and biology and medicine. So I went ahead and I did a master's in it. Um, after nearly two years of a mainstream lab academic work uh, placement. So I did that and I did really well my placement during my master's, making the first large genome scale knowledge graph for researching drugs to treat type 2 diabetes mellitus and premature ovarian failure. And that attracted quite a bit of interest, so much so that I actually got offered my first postdoctoral equivalent role without even having a PhD at the time. This was a public funded role with the BBSRC. And during that time, I did quite a few things. Among getting some papers out, some are still waiting. I also ended up leading the development of some major COVID-19 research, which I later had the opportunity to expand, lead upon and improve on it, working with an international research team on COVID-19 called COVID. And that actually included me working alongside NASA, UC Berkeley, John Hopkins Medical School, and the US government, among so many others, was pretty amazing. Um, it was pretty nerve wracking having to present to that many people as well in such high position powers. Um, but that work ended up being featured in Nature and also partnered with the clinic uh, alongside University of Brown for some COVID-19 work. But unfortunately, we couldn't take that further due to other constraints. Nonetheless, I then moved on to work for a startup company called Zest, where I'm currently at. And we're focusing on helping people make smarter food choices. So as you can see, I'm still very much in the business of trying to help people. I'm the lead bioinformatics engineer there and a resident scientist. So I do a bunch of things that includes academic papers, helping to create studies, pushing scientific business, in addition to innovating new scientific products and research and writing grants. So I didn't just become a computer geek. The skills you have to use in bioinformatics, they are immense. Now, it ranges from coding in various languages to straight up medical science, data analysis, study design, maths, and more. So you can simply look at my work with the clinic to see evidence of this academic background uh, and my ability to articulate it to the general public among wider audiences too. 
Um, taking, for example, our microdosing blog, which you know utilizes a range of my skill sets, where I produce the data plots um, for using uh, testosterone at different doses, and that was via some pharmacokinetics and a load of programming to just get that right. So that's only a snippet of what I've done. I'm with the clinic to help them deliver their mission of improving men's health, and in due course, helping with studies to do exactly that. There's a significant gap in the public health domain for men's endocrinological health. And it's contributing to various non-communicable disease um, rises in the UK. And testosterone is something that isn't talked about enough among men because it's pretty taboo. You know, the, there was a lot of demonization with it within the media. But it's true that without the relevant medical expertise, it can actually be dangerous to your long-term health. Well, that's why Dr. Stevens exists. And that's why my role exists too, to help educate you, clinicians, and any interested parties, and also to demonstrate safe treatment with testosterone in those that need it with the right methodologies via the use of studies, studies of which I have learned to write, design, analyze, and get published. So that's my story and background, and that is why I'm working with the clinic. So it's a pleasure to meet you all, and there'll be more to come.